Now, my seatbelt, securely mounted, it's not cut, it's not frayed, locks, unlocks. I'm going to perform a safe start. Truck's in neutral, my brakes are applied. I'm going to turn the key to the opposition. The trucks you use for the test, you got to wait for the check engine light to go off. Okay. Here, these don't go off, so I'm going to start the vehicle. You did your mirrors when the mirror when when the truck wasn't running. You can't adjust the power of mirrors if the truck's not running, right? My mirrors, securely mounted, are not cut. I mean, they're not cracked, they're not broken. Boom, 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 boom. They are adjusted to me. My safety equipment. I got a fully charged 10 PC fire extinguisher. I got three reflective triangles. I have enough spare fuses to cover both the tractor and the trailer. My windshield, securely mounted. It's not cracked. It's not broken. There's no illegal stickers obstructing my view. My windshield wipers and my windshield wiper blades, securely mounted, not cracked, they're not broken, the blades are not cut, they're not frayed, they work on low and they work on high, and I guess we're out of fluid. My washing fluid, so, so, yep, there it is. My washing fluid works, all right? My left turn indicator, my right turn indicator, my four-way flashers, all working. My low beams are working, my high beams are working. I got my city horn, I got my air horn. I got my gauges, my oil gauge, my air gauges, my water gauge, my voltmeter, and my def tank are all rising to the proper range. My def has at least one eighth of the tank of def. My heat, my defrost. Frost works on low, works on high. My heat works on high, works on low. Now I'm going to perform a tug test. I'm going to check my trailer brake first. So I'm going to press in the red, the yellow valve. Put the truck in drive. I ain't got no air pressure, but here we go. I'm gonna check my parking brake. My parking brake works. Now my service brake test, all I'm gonna do is explain it. I'm gonna put the truck in drive, I'm gonna release the brakes, I'm gonna step on, I'm gonna drive about five miles an hour, I'm gonna step on a brake and my steering wheel should not move left or right. Done. Now my air brake test. I'm gonna get my pressure, I'm gonna get my pressure back up. While you're doing your recap, your pressure's gonna build up. All right, while you're doing your recap. So, I'm gonna build it up. Say, all right, start your air brake. So I'm going to get my pressure down to 90 psi. I'm going to build my air pressure back up between 120 and 140 psi. My air governor should kick off. I'll, I should, I'll know that by a burst of air. Between 120 and 140 psi, my air governor should kick off.
turn the key to the opposition. My ABS light went on and went off. The gauges are working. Now out there, I don't have to put my foot on the brake. Here I have to because I'm on a hill. Yeah. But I'm going to release the brakes. I'm going to wait for my air to stabilize. Once it stabilizes, I'm going to put my foot on the brake. And I should not lose more than four PSI in one minute combination vehicle with air brakes. You want to time me, sir? Yeah. Okay. He's going to say, good. I'm going to continue to fan my brakes down approximately 55 PSI. My air warning light and or buzzer should come on. My, both my air warning light and buzzer came on. I'm going to continue to fan my brakes down about 20 to 45 PSI. Both my valves should pop out. Both my valves popped out, that completes my air brake inspection. Done.